so hello friends and welcome back to another awesome video in this video we are going to learn that how we can install our own emulator means own uh, means a mobile phone which is not means uh, running on our windows pc actually so we are going to know how we can do that so you can see this is a total mobile frame and in which android 7 is running and you can also run whichever you want you can also run android 11 12 13 any whichever you want so it's exactly like phone uh, means your phone and it's uh, just uh, uh, going to help you a lot in your app developments and all that so when you are a flutter developer or any android uh, developer then it's very important to have emulator right because you cannot always connect your phone uh, phone and uh, debug it always so your phone is also engaged and it also takes much more time to debug so emulator is a very light and fast solution for it so in this video we are going to learn that only that how we can install a emulator uh, on any pc even it's a potato or low end pc we can install any emulator we want so we are going to take use of uh, an android studio so if you haven't installed it so make sure to install it and we will see the further steps after the intro Okay, so you can see this is my emulator. You can choose any frame you want. You can see this. This is my emulator, which works totally as your mobile phone only. But it's uh, means it uh, Android system running uh, at the background of your. Uh, windows system so you can see i have already previewed my flutter app so you can see the flutter logo when i click uh, it's taking it's not opening because that was in debug mode so the connection is lost lost however you can see this is uh app uh, this is my app which i had created and i had debugged it on flutter so we have closed it so first of all what you need to do is you will go to the start and type android studio and make sure you have installed the android studio if you don't know how to install it, I have already created a tutorial on it. You can uh, watch it by clicking on the i button or it will also be in the description box. So let it open. So when your uh, project is loaded, actually I don't uh, I don't use Android Studio generally, I use Visual Studio Code only. But some JDKs and files are there which are important for, uh, for uh, Flutter Doctor also. So it's important to install it also and android studio also provides you uh, a device manager which, in which you can create your own avd android virtual device so first what you need to do if you have the means uh, screen if you don't have the project screen so first of all you will just if you have like this when you are working on when you open the android studio and click on a project you can see here, here it will be a device manager okay you will just click
So we have successfully installed the emulator and it's working now you can see um, wow, you can see now Google opened as a school so you can just search for Google Chrome and all the applications are there because which you can also use you can go to settings uh, and all all these uh, files will be working except the um, what do we say calling and messaging part will not work and all the things will work okay then also install the apps you need from the play store okay so it's a total mobile phone install on your uh, device so you can do anything a uh, work uh, which you do on your mobile phone only and not mobile phone only but except messaging and calling you can do anything okay because it doesn't have any sim so it will not go it is not going to do anything with that uh, however you can just see you can take screenshots select and all the things are there and here are some controls also if i explain you in the navigation this is the power button from which you can switch off means switch off the screen you can see and switch it on the screen okay like we do double click and all it will work this is the volume up and volume down so you can see how volume is increasing and you can just turn the device like this you can see it's going to portrait then just totally opposite then just like this. now it's back and you can do the same thing this is for taking screenshot and this is zoom and these are these buttons only which will work here also as well and this is uh, the main thing in which you can control anything you can just set the location of uh, by enabling gps you can set custom location as you are a developer and you're using it you can also do you can add a secondary screen and screen as well you can do anything you want okay you can change the battery status health good so and all that camera no image you can add an image in the camera also then when you will open the camera uh, it will uh, show you the uh, means such type of image only okay suppose in this image i am taking a uh, just a second i will take this image for example okay see this image i have taken okay i've taken this image you can also do this and phone here you can just hold call from which call message so you can not do anything okay just it's uh, for instance setting you can here you can do many things so if you will open camera here as i have set the image and there is a camera if you will open the camera take some time so you will just click on next and we are done you can see here uh, this is just a camera this is the normal thing running in the background and you are having something here click the button 
needs to have the focus and all so you can do anything okay so this was it uh, in this video that how we can create a avd android virtual device using android studio and i hope this video would be very very informative for you you can use uh, you can run it. i know my videos are long but i try to give everything as much as i can okay so hope this tutorial would be very very interesting for you and uh, uh, you are you have successfully installed this avd in your system as well and i have said you how you can install this for a uh, low end pc also by selecting low configuration files and i hope you get something information for it if you liked it then please subscribe and like to my channel and i will see you in the next video in which i will show you that how you can run your flutter apps and debug it in this virtual device only in this android device only okay so see you in the next video till then take care bye bye